I'm Angie Hatton. I represent the 94th District, which is Letcher County and part of Pike County. I'm an attorney, and before that I was a journalist. Um, but I've been a prosecutor for about nine years, um, did a lot of um, juvenile court prosecution, so I've seen a lot of sad cases, and um, hope we can see a lot less of those. It's not something that I had um, put any time into thinking about, honestly, as far as running for office, but I had gotten to a point down in eastern Kentucky where we'd lost so many coal jobs and things had gotten so desperate that I had these, just a combination of emotions building up, I think. I had just anger and fear um, and deep just sadness um, at the, the state of my home that um, I, I had been feeling so helpless and that I just wanted to do something about it. So when the opportunity came up to run for this office, I spent about two hours trying to talk myself out of it and then didn't manage to do so and drove up here and filed. Well, I mean, it's jobs, but it's also the drug epidemic and they affect one another. I mean, if you can't, you can't recruit people to come in and bring their businesses here if they can't find a workforce that can test clean when they do drug screening for the jobs. And, you know, the drug epidemic is also causing um, people to lose jobs that were good and unable to feed their families and but the coal industry has collapsed um, causing so much hardship and we've got Great Depression era unemployment in my area. Those are the issues that people care about where I'm from. Well, I can't lie, Renee, I love it. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. I, um, I mean, there are some parts of it that are very intense and the pressures are large and the stakes are large and, you know, the press is always looking and there's so many different ways that you can mess up. But I'm really enjoying the process and finding out that um, when you get through party lines to actually meet individuals, there's some really good people here. And we, we've elected some, some knuckleheads that, you know, didn't do much good, but there are some really good people who have uh, servants' hearts, who have made the decision to serve others through seeking a seat in the legislature. And getting to know those individuals on both sides has been um, something that I will be always glad that I got to do. I didn't know what it was like when we were in the majority. Um, honestly, I just, I have a dream that one day we don't see color in that we don't see who was red and who was blue um, and we don't know uh, maybe even who introduced a bill before we, we vote on it. Um, the Democratic Party is still relevant in that if we didn't have two parties we would rubber, rubber stamp everything. Um, and with a super majority um, there's a real danger that everything gets rubber stamped because they don't need any votes from the other side and that's dangerous and so our voices um, are going to be important um, to um, you have to have a counter um, I think that's that's my my our, our role this year we have to be able to counter some of the things that are getting rubber stamps that had no business passing